Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus here, and welcome priority one message from Starfleet. to a priority message from Starfleet. Jean-Luc, we've just received some very disturbing information about the leader of the Borg invasion. I already know. And so do the Klingons, apparently. Oh, wait. Oh, the, are we at war? Oh, okay. It's just Worf. No, bye. No, bye. Taral, call off this Ormang. An honorless dog like you will never rule the Empire. That is where you are wrong, Worf. Now that I possess the sword of Kalis, the Klingon throne is mine. I will see to it that day never comes. And you know Worfing, it Worf's gonna make sure about that. Oh, but we have Romulans now. Oh great, just what we need. Admiral Sela, sensors confirm. It is the Omega part. Of course it's her. Prepare the containment field and hail the nearest board vessel. Tell them we wish to negotiate a deal. Of course you do. I have a feeling the card won't let that happen. Oh. That's a that's a problem. Captain, we are receiving a transmission from the Borg Cube. On screen. Wait a minute now! Locutus. Picard, lower your shields and prepare to be assimilated. If you are truly who you appear to be, you must know that I will not comply. You will comply. Your defensive capabilities are no match for us. Your culture will adapt to service ours. Resistance is and always has been futile. Well, that's a problem. Always with the god dang board. Oh, ooh. Yeah, this is, don't you just love how the cinematic is actually showing you how some of these ships work? That's actually an ability the Akira's have, I think, in the game. Initiate maneuver. Warp Theta 1. Why didn't any Starfleet vessels ever think of doing that? They were small enough to do so. And here comes the Klingons! Wait, 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 you're planning on trying to board the board cube? Okay. I don't see how that's smart, but whatever. Uh oh. Lock all weapons on that vessel. Fire. Saves the, saves the uh, steam runner, same time, it's just the same way, save the, uh... Hey, oh, well, there's an ability. Yes, the Nebulas have this ability in the game. Yes, welcome to the Big Man Plays! Several minutes into the game, Star Trek Armada! A Star Trek RTS, one of only two that I know of. This one and another one that's ground-based called Star Trek New Worlds. Now, you may notice there's a slight issue here. First of all, I'm having to play this on a windowed mode. Uh, with LBS recording the window because... Uh, here, let me see if I can fix uh, this. There we go. Yes, um, because the game constantly changes the resolution... Uh, window, you know, any type of recording mode other than display won't work. I only display will work when recording this. Second of all, because of how old the game is and various other issues, the game's gonna look like this. In fact, g me getting this game to run took five hours, 
two patches and a mod and experimentation with said mod to even get it to run this now you're probably thinking oh is the gameplay going to be all discombobulated no no the gameplay is going to be fine i can assure you the gameplay will itself is fine i've tested it but uh yes this is no game here hey used to have this animated thing where you would scroll on certain parts of the thing it would actually uh highlight them see like if you go on multiplayer it shows that if you go down to quit the wormhole opens go to options the uh shipyard starts moving but we're going to single player because we've already wasted enough goddamn time with this. Uh, we have four, well, actually, technically five campaigns. Very short, there are only like four missions each, but there are five campaigns. The fifth one is, is I think, unlocked if you beat the other four. I don't know, I haven't really done it. I've never beaten this game. But yes, we have, of course, you, you know, you have to beat the, you have to beat the Federation one first, but you have, of course, the Borg. Empress Sela and the Romulans, Worf and the Klingons, and Picard and, uh, and the Federation. We're going to start there. Now, this, I've or I played through this mission once just to ch test the in-game cutscenes to make sure everything else worked. And they do. So we're going to do the first mission here, Premonitions. Which I have to click and click. There we go. And of course, you're going to see a lot of black and all that. Uh, you hopefully shouldn't see the game be all discombobulated. I'm going to have that fixed in post. I mean, the, um... Because on my recording thing, you actually... You're probably seeing it right now because the text wants to show you that there's going to be this black bar there. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. Yes. By the way, the visuals never look this good in the original. Two patches and a mod will do that. <laughs> Captain's Log, Stardate 53550.8. With the Dominion War over and matter stabilizing in the Alpha Quadrant, the Enterprise is helping to re-establish an outpost in the Barisa sector. Though we are not expecting any conflicts, there have been rumors of renegade Dominion ships in the area who have refused to accept the Dominion Federation Treaty. The Enterprise is being sent to protect the outpost should any hostilities arise. Now, the, I don't know why the... I have to turn it down. Yeah, I'm definitely going to turn the volume down because there's no way to set the volume control. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the things are coming in and out because... Uh, for some reason, in you know, in this version, the draw distance is a little eh, so that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's see here. Uh, first things first, I'm going to show you something. There's a reason why I'm going to try not to save too much in this game. There's why. This is exactly why. By the way, I can, you know, I really need to, uh... It's just the music's just too loud. Let me fix that anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's annoying. To do this, you have to leave the game, and so far it hasn't futzed anything up, but I'm not going to save if I can help it. So, now that that's fixed, uh, hopefully the sound is better now. So anyway, this Prepare just like, the docking bays. Just like any of the RTS, you have to build units and whatnot. So we'll start with by building a star base, basically like your home base of whatever. So we'll build that, that is a logical request. Now, if you notice, there's a cinematic view going on Station here. Station construction commencing. It will uh, show you, while you're off doing other things, hey, uh, this thing's being built. It will take time. So we're going to take and select these three units and control one to put them to a uh, a uh, setting here. Armed and ready. There we go. All sections report. Yes. All sections on standby. So while we're doing this, we need Armed to and ready. search around the area for Dominion ships. Because as you see, we have to destroy all Dominion ships. Armed and ready. The Enterprise must survive. Adjust heading. 
Don't worry, the Enterprise... Adjust unless heading. you're really, really, really dumb, you're not going to lose the ready. Enterprise in this mission. Also, yes, they're going to keep talking every time you click. Helm, new course heading. Almost every time. So I hope you hope you like... Uh, Adjust heading. Repetitive uh, confirmation Helm, new course heading. Vo uh, voice clips. Adjust heading. Now, right now... We don't have any Arbin abilities ready. for the, the, uh, the, uh, what's the, 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 we don't have any ship abilities. Even though you saw the Akira sections on do something very up there. Captain, the minion ships are powering their weapons. Go to red alert. Yeah, one Dominion ship against, uh, two Akiras and a Sovereign. Yeah, Alter that's course. Gonna, that's not going to end well. Adjust so heading. But yeah, uh, uh, later Helm, on, the abilities heading. will start getting unlocked, and then you'll Adjust start heading. seeing what they can do. But as for right now... Adjust heading. Station complete. Ah, excellent. While they're over there doing that... Prepare the docking base. We need to build a delithium mine. We may need a delithium. Confirm, Starfleet. Okay, over here, one... All sections on standby. Now... Armed and ready. There is another dilithium ore mine over here. Alter course. You don't really need it because you know you have to fly through this nebula to even uh, get to it. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Yep, right there. Helm, new you course heading. You don't need it at all. You really don't. But Helm, new course heading. Because I'm a greedy sucker. Starship construction commencing. There's our queue right there. It tells us uh, where we're building. Status report. When that when that's done, I'll send it over to build another. Dilithium. Station Captain, complete. Sensors are picking up Dominion attack ships heading this way. All hands to battle stations. Yes. Now we have to really Alter look course. for the. Uh, the, uh, uh, the thing of what it's. All work crews report to station. Let's see, the lithium mine. Right there. Confirm, Starfleet. Don't worry, he'll make it over there. There's not really that many, uh... Armed and ready. Uh, things. Don't even try having those things fight, by the way. I don't think it. those those things have weapons. Enemy engaged. Fire all weapons. And Starship complete. All sections on standby. Yeah, I love how it tells you what, what the first division, seventh wing, or whatnot. Fire all weapons. If you weapons. hover over the ship, the enemy ship that is. I don't think the little guy's gonna make it over there. You know, just how. Just heading. Hilariousness, I'm going to follow him. Just because. I know I'm artificially lengthening the episode. Because you don't need the extra dilithium. You can't build anything but these and dilithium haulers. And so there's no real point in trying to uh, build it. But I'm doing it just because I'm being a schmuck. Shut up. You don't need to defend your base in this episode either. It's, Armed there's, and ready. No, there's no reason. The, 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 at least as far as I remember, the last true time I played this was several, 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 several years ago. <laughs> um, All sections on standby. They, it's, uh, they never really came down there. They more or less, the Jemadar fighters kind of just wandered around in one patrol area and kind of just sit around and wait. Yeah, see, as you go through that nebula, you start losing shields, you start taking minor damage. All work crews report to station. Unable to build. Cannot build a specified look why. Oh, because it's like right there. Okay. So that Confirmed, be Starfleet. There we go. Status report. Armed and ready. Now let's go find those other Gemidar fighters. Those those attack ships. You can't really call them fighters because they're bigger than Enemy fighters. engaged. Oh hey, how you Fire, doing? Full burst. You a special kind Armed of stupid, ready. ain't you? Trying to fight in a nebula. Didn't you learn anything from Khan? 
Adjust no, heading. Wow, well, these ones actually follow me. I think so. All sections on standby. Helm, new course heading. Captain, the area is secure from Dominion ships, but I am reading some strange temporal distortions in the well, area. Well, that's a problem. On screen. And here's the cutscenes. Thankfully, the cutscenes use in-game assets and this kind of, like, opaque uh, cover over it. Sorry about the lines. There's nothing I can do about them. I've tried. But yes. Federation ship is under attack by force. Why not? That ship. I've seen it before. Oh, you have? We are receiving a Priority One distress call. On screen. This is Captain Thaddeus Deming of the USS Premonition. We are under attack by the Borg to any ships in the area. This is the USS Premonition. Sir, we lost the transmission. Data, yes. locate the origin of that transmission and lay in a course. Yes, Data is still around. Enemy engaged. Yes, we must go save the Premonition. It'll take, if you sit around, it will eventually be destroyed. But that's if you actually sit around and do nothing. <laughs> but because I have three ships coming at it, these, these board ships won't last very long. If you can just uh, get there, that'd be really great there. Uh, Fire, the full burst. Oh, there, we're in range. Come on. Keep firing until they, until it actually, uh, yep, there we go. Fire all weapons. That's a good thing. Once it, once a ship looks like it's about to blow up, your ships will stop firing and move Captain, on to the next target. I'm receiving a hail from the premonition. Okay. On screen. Oh, that was beautiful. Good the legendary you. Captain Picard. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Captain Deming, you and your ship do not appear in the Starfleet database. Do you have an explanation for this? No. That is because it does not yet exist. I've come from the future to warn the Federation of an impending Borg invasion. Of course. We must act quickly if we are to stop them. Captain Deming, Starfleet has strict regulations which prohibit tampering with the current timeline. I have no intention Captain! of- Captain! Within the hour, the Borg will attack and assimilate Starbase 612. Its destruction was marked as the first step in the Borg invasion that eventually took over the Alpha Quadrant. The card where I come from the Federation barely exists. Vulcan, Bajor, Kronos, Earth, they're all assimilated planets. This is our last hope, Captain. If you don't help us, the Alpha Quadrant will fall to the Borg. You have a choice there, don't you? Very well, Captain. I will pursue this matter. Lieutenant, send a message to Starfleet Command informing them of our situation. Ensign Lucetti, set a course for Starbase 612. Engage. And thus we've completed the first mission. And started off a whole kit and caboodle of Borg shenanigans. Because the Borg, you know, they, should, they, they, they always want to assimilate everything. But, will we be able to defeat the Borg? And is the next mission going to go any better for me? Find out next time on the Big Man Play Star Trek Armada. Till next, Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. When the Borg are involved, it's never, ever good. It, you know, it's it's never good. It's, it's never good. It's like it's like when time travel is involved in, in in Command and Conquer. You know it's not going to be good. It's and this is time travel too, so it's doubly bad.